What up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be doing something a little different. Instead of having a top 10 anime list, we will only be doing 7 anime where the MC shows his true power to save the one he loves. The reason for this is that because sometimes I can't find enough anime to cover for the video, and I will not put the video off for you guys, and I think it's a waste to do that. So, I hope you guys enjoy this new top 7 anime thing I'm doing. Anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy as we dive into today's video. Before we get into the video guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so we can hit our 50,000 subscriber milestone. And also guys, all information related to the video, including thumbnail, anime names, etc. will all be in the description below, so feel free to check the description after watching the video. I also have a second channel which covers other anime related stuff, such as anime fights, romance and other stuff, so feel free to check it out if you want, link also in the description below. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Number 7, Snow White with the Red Hair Shirayuki is a spunky pharmacist with bright apple red hair unlike anything anyone has ever seen. Even the prince of the kingdom she lives in is entranced by her locks and demands that she become his concubine. Not wanting to be viewed as an object prized purely for its novelty, Shirayuki flees civilization and heads towards the forest. Here, the girl meets the charming Zen, who rescues her from Prince Raji's clutches and reveals that he is a prince as well. The two become close friends, and Shirayuki decides to return to Zen's castle with him to pursue her dreams. But becoming a palace pharmacist isn't easy, especially since her unusual hair color and close relationship with the prince tend to draw unwanted attention. Snow White with the red hair depicts Shirayuki's journey towards a new life at the royal palace of Clarines as well as Zen's endeavor to become a prince worthy of his title. As loyal friendships are forged and deadly enemies form, Shirayuki and Zen slowly learn to support each other as they walk into their own paths. This whole show is just a constant roller coaster with the constant twists and turns we get, and that's what makes it so interesting. <laughs> Number 6, Devil's Line Vampires walk among society, existing as part of its underbelly. They do not require blood to survive, but extreme emotions can immensely increase their bloodlust, turning them into uncontrollable monsters. Tsukasa Taira, a 22-year-old university student, learns of the existence of vampires when her longtime friend reveals herself to be one of them after a tense confrontation with Yuki Anzai, a human and vampire hybrid. Her friend is arrested, and Tsukasa soon finds herself drawn to Anzai, who reluctantly reciprocates her feelings. However, this unconventional romance may prove too difficult to maintain, as Anzai struggles to contain the part of him that wishes to devour Tsukasa. When I went into this anime, I was ready for another Vampire Knight kind of thing, but was actually fascinated where it turned out to be similar to one of my all-time favorites, Tokyo Ghoul which is a huge compliment for any anime to get. <laughs> Number 5, Tsubasa Chronicle During an excavation at the mysterious ruins in Cloud Country, Sayorin discovers his childhood friend Princess Sakura appear on the site with wings that disperse into many feathers. As the feathers disappear to different dimensions, so does Sakura's memory. In an attempt to save Sakura's life and restore her memory, Sioran travels to another world to find a solution. There's only one thing left he can do. Travel through to different dimensions to collect Sakura's feathers. Helping out with the quest is Kurogane, an exiled ninja from Japan country who wishes to return to his world. The runaway magician Fei who desires to jump between each world never to return to his own, and the white meat bun shaped creature, Mokona. The story seems confusing and unexplained at first, but picks up the pace and feels slightly episodic due to the constantly changing settings and supporting cast. I get a feeling of nostalgia from this anime somehow, even though I don't recall ever having watched it before. I would definitely say give this anime a try. This seems to be one that a wide range of people can enjoy. 
ンドン行くぞ俺俺はあの子のところに飛んでいくナンバフォーエルカセブン In the backwater town of Belforest lives a 14 year old boy named Renton Thurston. He decides to leave his home behind and join the mercenary group known as Gecko State, hoping to find some adventure to brighten up his mundane life. However, stuck between his grandfather's insistence to become a mechanic like him and the pressure of his deceased father's legacy, the only excitement Renton finds is in his pastime of riding the trap bar wave particles that are dispersed throughout the air. An activity akin to surfing. Everything changes when an unknown object crashes through Renton's garage, discovered to be a light finding operation, a robot capable of riding the trap bar waves, specifically known as the Nervash Type Zero. Its pilot is a young girl named Uruka, a member of the Gecko State, who requests a tune up for the Nervash. Their meeting sparks the beginning of Renton's involvement with the Gecko State as he takes off. Alongside Iruka as the co pilot of the Nirvash. Iruka 7 is a 50 episode, action packed sci fi shonen anime featuring mechas. Though, after watching it, I would think that it should be defined as Seinen due to the bat shit crazy story. And I say that in a good way. It has so many problems, and there are lots that I hate about it. But overall, it is a great anime. I'd recommend this to anybody. But be prepared for shit to piss you off. Number 3 Record of Grand Crest War Atlatan, a land ruled by chaos. Fearing disaster brought about by chaos, the people live protected by lords. Those with the power of crests used to suppress the chaos. However, the lords decided to abandon the concept of protecting the people and turn against each other, stealing each other's crests to gain dominion over one another. Having failed to prevent a massive disaster between two big factions, Silico Melatis, an Alliance mage, is traveling through the chaos infested countryside to study under a master magician. When she is intercepted by a group of soldiers working for the Federation, Silica is rescued by Theo Cornaro. A young warrior carrying a mysterious crest, a magical symbol that gives its wielder the ability to banish chaos. Bearing no allegiance to a specific domain, Theo hopes to attain the rank of Lord so that he can liberate his hometown of Sistina from his tyrannical ruler and the chaos spreading within it. Impressed by his noble goal, Silica enters into a magical contract with Theo, and the two embark on a journey to restore balance to their war torn land. This anime is so underrated, and it's not even funny. Cause it's so good and has some of the best romance relationships I've seen ever. This is a must watch for anyone looking for a chill romance fantasy type anime with cool fights and an interesting storyline. Number 2 Kenzin Robo Diamond Dollar. Battles continue between Penguin Empire, the mysterious life form which arrived on Earth all of a sudden, and Beauty Salon Prince, the secret anti penguin organization. In order to fight Penguin Empire's gigantic penguin robot, Beauty Salon Prince has developed their ultimate weapon, Diamond Dollar, and is now looking for the pilot. They choose Koichi Madanbashi, a hot blooded high school boy who is mad about big boobs. Because he is the factor of high aero particles, the source of unknown energy. This series is directed by Tetsuya Yanagisawa, famous for the high school DXD anime series, as well as Studio TNK. So, if you're the person that enjoys a lot of ecchi in your anime, well, no worries, because you'll have plenty of it in this one. <laughs> Number 1. The Ancient Magus Bride Despite having the ability to see otherworldly creatures, Chisei Hattori has never considered herself lucky. Ever since her parents abandoned her at a young age, it has been the center of her hardship, 
driving her to the point of selling herself to the slave market, just to secure a place she can call home. Presented to the bidders as a rare slay beggy, beings who have an unusually high affinity to magical energies, Chise's last remaining hope appears in the form of Elias Ainsworth, a mysterious magus, more beast than man. Rather than keep her as a slave, he has decided to make her his apprentice, as well as his bride. Chise is not only physically transported to the English countryside where Elias lives, but also introduced to a world where wondrous things such as fairies and dragons are the norm. But she soon realizes there is as much to fear in her new life as there is to marvel at. And lying at the heart of it all is the question of whether she has fallen into the hands of something much darker than her own inner demons. Not much I can say about Magus Bride. Besides, cuz, some of you know it's on my top 10 anime of all time list. So of course I would recommend this for you guys to watch. It's also better to go into this with no expectations at all, and just sit back and enjoy the ride, because it's one good ass anime. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know down in the comments which anime you guys are going to check out. And also let me know which anime you guys like best on this list. Also, please hit that subscribe button to help our channel grow and reach our 50,000 subscriber goal. I take topic recommendations, so feel free to drop yours below and I will do my best to make a video out of it if I really like it. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!